Hello, everybody. My name is Louie. I'm with uh, Premier RV of Oregon. And today we have a Country Coach 2009 Crane Prairie is the name of the floor plan. We'll do a quick video of the outside, and then we'll bring it in inside to do the interior video. All right, everybody, uh, we made it inside. Uh, again, this is a Country Coach Allure. Crane Prairie is the name of the floor plan. It's a bath and a half. It's 45 feet and it's got 76,000 miles. Um, the asking price is 189,000. Uh, this also has the 500 Cummins on this coach. Um, from the video earlier, you kind of noticed how I made that sharp turn inside or outside in our driveway area. Uh, the reason I was able to do that is because Country Coach did a really good job of not only using independent front suspension, but using a really heavy duty one, which turns at 55 degrees. So you can see this cramp angle right here, 55 degrees, that's pretty good. Most coaches are at 50. Uh, older coaches are actually around 45 where you need Walmart to do your turns on. So kind of a cool thing. Uh, this is a Rayco granny front end. 16,700 pounds it's rated for. Um, so 2009 Country Coach Allure, it's, it's also part of the 470 brand. Um, I'm going to get into that here in a couple seconds. What I'm going to do is kind of show you a little bit of the history. This right here is a rare coach. It's a 2002 32 foot Allure. So this body style, the Allure's first year in existence was in 1996. That happened to be my first year at Country Coach. Brings back a lot of memories, but this is a 2002, and the body style did not change until 2006. But you'll notice right here that the front end, the headlights, it's a two-piece windshield, and then in 2006, Country Coach, they made taller coaches. You know, the height of this coach is about 11 feet, 10 inches. And then they went to 1210, and um, seven of those inches actually went into the interior height of the coach. So that's pretty incredible from a livability standpoint. But first thing you'll notice in 2006, actually this body, body style came out in 2005, is a one-piece windshield, taller ceilings, totally different working coach. So it's kind of an interesting evolution you see here. And then we go into... The big boy here, this is 2009. What I like about this slide is that uh, Country does a really good job of fitting the slide room into the side wall of the coach. Where a lot of manufacturers, they put a piece of angled steel or metal right here, or like a flange that hides the slide room, and the outside wall actually fits to the side wall of the coach. So everything Country Coach does is that they're all about fit and finish. They're also engineered for safety, and that's a cool thing with the front end, the independent front suspension, um, incorporating all of this massive equipment. All right, so I'm just going to show some features of the coach. I think uh, some of the cool things that Country Coach does, uh, back in the older coaches, the doors were very small. 
they want the, well, the really wide door, which is really nice. It just allows you to, it's much easier to get in and out of the coach. Uh, with the big steps, there's a lot of room. A lot of brands, they used to have the steps really close to each other. These are really far and separated, which is really easy to get in and out of. They also incorporated with a quickie step, the heavy duty step. Uh, this guy added some extra uh, tape here, anti-skid stuff. Uh, he also did some extra cool lighting, I guess. Uh, the other thing we got here, so the uh, lots of storage in this coach. The 470 has a tremendous amount of storage. It probably has more storage down below than any motorhome I've ever seen. Uh, it has a rollout. Now, you don't have to have this. This is something that the customer put in. I'm going to pan out over here. Uh, he also spent a ton of money on this custom barbecue that he's never cooked a hamburger on yet. So it's ready for a couple burgers, it looks like. Uh, we could take this out if you don't want it, but uh, kind of cool. He spent some pretty good dollars on this. Uh, but this is a full pass-through, just like this one. And you can see the height. Uh, countries just do a good job with that semi monocoque chassis, which uh, gives you a lot more strength. Um, but it gives you a lot more height than your bays where you don't have those two center rails getting in the way. Um, they also did the outside TV here. And again, more storage. Uh, there's a dual directional, there's a tray on the other side. It's not dual directional anymore with the water hose. So you can see each one of these bays is like 50 inches wide. I think 48 or something like that from what I remember, but three of them. Uh, so I don't think you'll find anything with more storage than that. From what I remember, we got some batteries in this bay. Oh, propane tank. <laughs> Pretty large propane tank. The only thing that's going to run is the cooktop. So in this outside barbecue, um, the refrigerator is residential in this coach. Um, also, standard in this coach is the Aquahawk, the 525. So that's going to give you never-ending hot water for your shower. It's also a really good heating system in the sense that it's not like propane where it's burning the air inside the coach and making it very dry. It's going to heat the coach but keep it very moist inside the coach. It's also going to um, be a lot quieter than a propane. And uh, the other things that Country Coach does is they use really good windows. Uh, this is a, a bronze tinted window where you can't see in as well. It also is solar reflective, so the heat kind of reflects off of it. So it gives a little bit better insulation inside the coach from uh, the sense of the heat coming in. Uh, also, this coach, there's no micro checking on this paint. Uh, this coach has been garage kept its whole life. Uh, on the lure in 2008, they started using... Uh, Miles fiberglass, just like the intrigues, magnets, and affinities. And uh, with that, they're not as susceptible to the micro checking. Um, the paint on this is a lot more dramatic than versus like an 06 or even the 02. Uh, you'll start noticing a lot more fades and stuff like that in the paint, a lot more colors. Uh, this makes this a lot more expensive to paint, obviously, in manufacturing. Um, also, a question that comes up all the time is why is this wheel right here? I refer to this as a, the dish and I could be wrong, but it's just like the front wheel basically. It's not like this where it's inward. This is outward. So why did Country Coach do that? Just like a Prevo bus, they were able to get a higher GVW um, that's rated at 14,000, where if you had a dish like that, it would be rated at 10,000. So the GVW on this coach is uh, 47,600. So that's a lot of net carrying capacity, and that's what they're trying to do. And that's why, uh, you know, that safety and engineering, a really heavy-duty chassis. Also in 2008, uh, this is a 2009, but Country Coach went to 315 size tires on all wheels with disc brakes. That was a really big difference. It was kind of more of like a Magna-style chassis here. So um, that's a really nice difference for this coach. Uh, did something cool right here. I like that little CC logo, Country Coach. Um, here's the cranking batteries here with a disconnect. We'll clean that up a little bit. It's a little dirty. Uh, back here is uh, 
it's a beautiful back cap. Uh, you got a backup camera. Uh, also, one of the best engines out there. This has the 500 Cummins. 1550 torque, 4000 transmission. That is right there, the air filter for the for the engine. Um, oh, the hitch. The hitch on the 2009 and 2008 uh, are 15,000 pounds. So the guy added some custom lights. We got some lights here, and he did the side Laker lights also, which was kind of cool. I just got back from driving this coach a thousand miles, and these lights right here are pretty cool when they're flashing um, when you're making a left or a right. Uh, let's go over to the other side here. This is, uh, it's going to have a side mounted radiator, very large, good cooling package on this coach. Again, I drove this thing a thousand miles. It just went up the hills like you couldn't believe. Um, I really like this engine. The other big thing on this engine is it has no emissions on it. So um, there's no particulate filters or anything like that. Cummins was able to, we bought a bunch of these in at Country Coach, knowing that we wanted to use them on the lures uh, because it didn't have the emissions on it. Um, lots of awnings here. Um, this is your plumbing bay. It's nice, and I think 08, we went to the stainless, like the Magnus and Affinities. It just kind of cleans up the plumbing bay. Um, there's a thing over there that tells you your black and gray tank, what levels they're at. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Bowl knives, dump tanks, uh, water hose reels in here. Uh, water filters, water pumps, water pumps down there. But all good stuff. What I like what this guy also did on this coach, you notice he did a stainless package. This is not standard on the lures, uh, but it kind of gives a nice look to this coach. Um, this right here is a full pass through. That's the water pump. So that's aftermarket also. So this guy put a lot of cool things in it to make his life easier, I guess. Uh, the fuel tank is right here. It's uh, 135 gallons. It's a dual fill. You can fill it from either side. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool is what they did is they put these tensioners on the slide room awnings. So we call these topper awnings up top. That just gives the awning fabric a lot of tension so that you don't get water pulling up there. So kind of a cool thing there. I'm going to bring out the the front here, the generators up front, were on the older coaches over there, they were on the side. Go up front here, and uh, it's got an electric actuator here. I think it's about a thousand hours on the generator. It's a 10K on it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's what they call the true quiet one. Um, this will pretty much run everything inside the coach. Uh, your roof airs, microwave, refrigerators, all that good stuff. Uh, cool thing is you can get to your headlights, all that stuff here. That 3M's in actually pretty good condition. There's a couple of rock dings, but nothing bad. It's a 2009, but overall, I give this uh, uh, it's been really well kept up. Uh, the other thing that's kind of cool with Country Coaches is that they, when they install these windshields, they glue them in so you don't see a gasket. Uh, they're just all about fit and finish, and here's a pretty good example of it versus like here's a gasket coach Not to pick on the navigator, but Country coach always just wanted everything to be super super clean uh, One piece roof cap up front here, so there's no seams uh, We do check all of uh, the seals on the coach. We do a full inspection of the boat arms when we sell them We change the oil on the engine the generator and your aqua hot, we service all three of those items, and then we do a full inspection on inside and outside of the coach. That's it for the outside. I can't think of anything else, um, but let's go inside. So we'll just do a quick brief walk around. I'll kind of show you the floor plan um, and uh, Talk a little bit about some of the highlights. Residential refrigerator. 
when Country Coach did these, they, they did them right. They had a lot of experience with building buses and magnets and affinity. So when they put a residential refrigerator in it, they typically they would use a larger alternator on the engine, a 3,000 watt inverter, and more house batteries. Um, so basically this thing will operate as you're going down the road. Um, right here, I really like the seating. So we'll do a quick walk around here. Lots of seating in this coach. Both driver and passenger seats will rotate. And then you see the J sofa over here. So, and then they did a nice thing with the storage in the galley. This does slide in with a little pink plate here. But what kind of makes this is, you know, you get rid of the TV up front and you get the 52 inch TV here. What really makes this floor plan, in my opinion, is the 52 inch TV in the midship of the coach. Country Coach did not do a lot of these. In fact, this is one of the last floor plans that Country Coach designed is the Crane Prairie. Um, so what it does is it gives you the bigger TV here, but it also really cleans up your dash. Um, so your viewing is much better. You know, if you had a nice campground, you, your view out front is really, really cool. Also when you're driving. Um, so kind of like that. Also, it being a bath and a half, um, this kind of makes sense because you have one of the bathrooms here. You go in. Now the picture of the woman looking at you using the restroom. Um, <laughs> if you don't want that, we could get rid of that. We could take it off. Uh, <laughs> whatever you want. Your coach will do whatever. Uh, but lots of switches, uh, lights. I'm flushing the toilet, all that good stuff. Hey, we even got some toilet paper. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of storage here, and we have another nice window. So just giving you. A lot more of the outside world there. Uh, in the bedroom, king size bed, which is mandatory. Uh, all the floor plans after a certain year for Country Coach, after 06 for sure. Um, so each area has a little bit of a nightstand. I know a lot of people like that for charging their phones and stuff. This Coach Ox actually got the max storage, which gave it more storage in the bedroom. Uh, 32 inch TV here. And lots of stuff. Cool here and see if there's a safe. Let's see if there's any money left. <laughs> lots of more space. Also, Country Coach started using Intellitech in like 05. Uh, it just makes it easier to operate everything. You have multiple areas where you could turn lights on, water pumps. You also have an all off button where you could shut off all the uh, lights accessible from typically the bedroom area right here. Um, in the back here, what I also like about this coach, it's got one of the biggest showers that they've ever installed, uh, which is really kind of cool. So really cool floor plan, uh, stack washer dryer, which was another thing that was important to do. And then they did something kind of cool here. They actually did the storage, but they came up with this kind of nifty idea of bringing this to give you better access to your wardrobe. A couple lights here. Right here we got the manuals. The, the monster behind the box there is your power cord reel. It's electric, which is kind of cool. You don't have to lug that thing around anymore. This right here is a part of the Intellitech module brain system. Um, the guy added a lot of different outlets and stuff I've noticed throughout the coach. So you could plug something back here, hair dryer, I guess, I don't know. Um, and then you got the vanity sink here. So lots of area actually. Uh, I'm telling you, a lot of people like that there's not another step up in the bedroom area when they're getting out of bed at the middle of the night. Uh, it's a flat floor, so that's kind of cool. The step up is back here in the bathroom. Now, wherever you see the tile right here, is Country also offered an option, and this coach has it. It's the radiant floor heat. So here's one right here. That's a controller, so we could activate this heat mat. It's basically electric wires underneath the tile. And uh, heat it to whatever temperature you would like it. The cool thing about that in a lot of environments, it'll heat the whole coach. You know, if it's 45 degrees outside, you have the radiant floor heat on, you won't have to have the aqua hot or the heat pumps. There are three heat pumps on this coach and three AC units. 
Um, but again, with the radiant four heat, you're probably not going to need that. Um, so we've got radiant four heat up here also. A lot of controls here. Radiant four heat control, inverter controls, aqua hot controls, slide room controls. Uh, pretty simple. One thing that Country Coach also does a really good job is they locate all their breakers. This is all the residential stuff, residential refrigerator, heat mats, all these things are located right here. 12 volt would be right here, you know, like lighting, driver and passenger seats or something like that. This could be attached to these or water pumps. They're all labeled, color-coded, numbered. So a country coach gives you the schematics, which is kind of cool, and the owner's manual of everything because, uh, you know, when they built these coaches, they were heavily engineered in the sense uh, that everything had to follow a blueprint um, and that's why they were able to give you schematics. Um, some of the other things, this is light cherry. What I really like versus a lot of the newer coaches in today's world is uh, not a lot of people are using three quarter inch solid wood. You know, they're just using veneer. So this is all solid wood. And you notice how they do the radius here? These are the small things that really take up a lot of time. When you start sanding this down, Instead of just having a piece of wood right here and then coming back with another piece, uh, time equals money. Uh, again, this needs a little bit of an adjustment, but no big, but solid light cherry cabinets. Um, lots of storage. Nice drip just in case if the water came running off. Uh, they did upgrade the, the galley sink um, faucet. Um, Corian sink. We haven't cleaned this coach yet, but hey. We just wanted to get this video out and see what you guys thought of it because it's kind of one of my favorite floor plans. Uh, three burner cooktop um, and some storage underneath. This right here is where the covers go for the cooktop. Uh, it also has a fantastic fan here and also in the bathroom and then back. Um, these have rain scissors and everything on it. Um, Good audio video system. This has, I think, what we got uh, surround sound, five speakers here in the front, and also in the back bedroom. So, Country Coach did a good job with that. They incorporated everything into these Marantz receiver right here. It's It's got a newer satellite on here, just waiting for someone to put a satellite receiver in it. That looks like a Blu ray player. So, um, up here, um, I did drive this coach a thousand miles, and I tell you what, it was one of the better drivers. Uh, I'm not just saying that, but this thing really, really drove really well. But right here is you have the MCD shades. These are electric. These are really nice shades. Um, but what I really noticed actually on this is that I noticed that when I was driving, I was able to see all the gauges. Country Coach really thought this one out really well in this coach. Uh, everything was really easy to view, and I know in certain years, not so the case. This one was really good. You got a good view of the backup camera. And then the silver leaf. This gives you all your information on your engine and your transmission. It also gives you a ton of other stuff. Um, a lot of gearhead people, you know, they want to know acceleration, position, air intake, voltage on your alternator. That's kind of cool. What you set your cruise on. Every time you set the cruise, it tells you what speed you're going, um, engine loads. Blah, blah, blah. It's got 60 functions on here. Uh, you could stop it at any point, or you could let it keep rotating through the system. The thing is, you can push the home button right here, and you can start and stop the generator. Uh, it also, you can push it again. It's bulk charging right now. But it also has a quiet time. Uh, it has auto gen, auto gen, so if the voltage got down below 12 volts, it would automatically start. So you can enable that. Um, you could set it for a certain temperature inside the coach it would start the generator uh, and also a day of the week I mean it's kind of crazy what you could do with this um, so what I like about this it's really user friendly it's not too intimidating if you push the button or anything like that you're not going to hurt anything um, but it's a pretty cool system and this shuts the power off on it right here um, the leveling system you notice I dumped the coach earlier uh, country coach, they don't use jacks, which is really kind of cool in my opinion. Um, this is all off the suspension bags, and uh, you got basically seven inches of travel, um, four down, three up. Um, but all you do is uh, when the engine's running, is you push this, and then it starts adding and depleting air, depending on see we're not level on the passenger side of the coach. It's best to do this obviously when the engine's running. 
Um, over time, as you lose air, it does have a 12 volt compressor down below that would automatically level the coach and keep it level. Um, what they did here is they put all the other switches right here. You got your transmission, selector box. You really don't play with that one, but your tag axles right here and your Jake brake. This has a two stage Jake brake. And the great thing is if you close your eyes and you're going down a hill, that's the button you're going to play with. And that's where they put it. So that was kind of cool. Um, the visors are controlled right here. So that's it for this 2009 Country Coach. 76,000 miles. Uh, garage kept. Paints in really good shape. Uh, this is our first video, and I know it's gonna we're going to get better as we do this, but I just wanted to... Have your input, if you guys don't mind subscribing, and we'll get more people on our list, and uh, give us some comments on any feedback that you think we could do better. So again, my name is Louie, and I appreciate it, and uh, we got more coming. Thank you.